Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We're here with another week of our Q&A with Dr. Nikki Davis. I'm joined, obviously, by Dr. Nikki Davis. Welcome, Dr. Davis. Thank you. We've got another question from one of our members. Um, this week, it's about soy. So one of our members wants to know, is eating soy safe? Do the phytoestrogens in soy increase breast cancer risk? Yeah, that's a great question. I know a lot of people have wondered this over the years about soy, if that is something that because it has these estrogen properties, if that can possibly increase breast cancer risk. So excellent question. So when we're talking about soy, first of all, I just wanna clarify. So soy uh, is something that comes from a bean. So there's the soybean, which some people will call edamame. Uh, and they will use this soybean to make different products like tofu, soy milk, uh, tempeh. And so these are the, this is what we're talking about when we talk about soy. Now there, there are some products out there that will strip out protein and use that in products. So it's typically called soy protein isolate because they're isolating the protein from the soy. And that is not a whole soy product. So when we're talking about soy foods today, I just want to make clear that it's typically the more whole food, which is like I said, either the soybean, uh, tofu is very minimally processed. So that is more of a whole food and soy milk, same thing. Like it's partially processed and you're losing a little bit of the fiber, but for the most part, those are the products we're talking about. So soy is interesting in that it does, it contains something called a phytoestrogen. And for soy specifically, it is called an isoflavone, which is the type of the phytoestrogen that is that is in soy. Now, this phytoestrogen kind of acts like the hormone estrogen that is made in mostly women who make estrogen in their bodies as is this female hormone. But what's interesting is you have two different estrogen receptors and they're called alpha and beta. And what we found is that the estrogen that the female body makes preferentially uses the either alpha or beta, um, but the alpha estrogen receptor is typically more when it's, uh, when it's bound to typically increases growth. Whereas if it's bound to the beta estrogen receptor, it typically lowers growth rates. So you could kind of think of it as alpha is not as friendly of a receptor for estrogen and beta is a little bit more friendly or you know, better for not promoting cancer growth. So the phytoestrogens in soy preferentially bind to the beta receptor. And so what that means is that when you're eating soy, it's actually beneficial uh, that you are decreasing your risk for breast cancer. And they've actually found that in studies. So there have been several studies that show that for women who eat more soy, they have less risk of breast cancer and less risk of recurrence if they've had breast cancer in the past. And one of the things that's interesting is that if you know how cancer works, so um, it partly works by something called methylation, which is basically just putting this methyl group onto your DNA. And the BRCA gene, which some of you might be familiar with, which is indicated in breast cancer, is actually a good gene. So it's a tumor suppressor gene. And what happens is in cancer, when you do put this little methyl group on that gene, it does not allow the gene to work properly. And this gene is really important because it helps with DNA repair. And in cancer, if you can't repair your DNA, it's just gonna proliferate and get worse and worse. And so soy is great because it looks like it actually helps remove those methyl groups and allow that gene to continue to work the way that it's supposed to. So overall, I would say soy is one of those foods that for a long time we were a little bit worried about that it could possibly increase estrogen levels in your body, which would be bad for men and bad for women, especially with breast cancer. But actually we found the opposite is true that people who eat more soy have less breast cancer and it can actually be a very healthful food. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Um, Absolutely. Is there, 
Is there a type of phytoestrogen that binds to the alpha receptor that does encourage the growth or can you speak to that a little bit? Um, actually, no. So in what we, what we found is that it looks like it mainly binds to the beta receptor, but what's interesting is because it binds to that beta receptor, it actually makes the estrogens in your body less able to bind to the alpha receptor as well. So not only are you getting that benefit from binding to the beta receptor, but you're almost, it's almost like you're blocking the, the estrogen in your body from binding to that alpha receptor as well. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Davis. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, we'll be here next week. And if you would like to ask a question, leave a comment um, either on our YouTube channel or in our membership platform or on social media. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Thank you.